Well, hello everybody. Uh, in attempt to try to test my new screen capture software on my new operating system here on my laptop, uh, this is actually Linux Mint 17 Mate Edition, I'm going to teach you all how to in install I'm still pretty bad at this myself. <clears throat> yeah, that's probably not standard IPA, but I wrote that really quickly. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys all how to do that. And you can see I used it here to kind of help one of my friends out with pronouncing the Burmese vowels. And you can do other things with it if you're doing linguistic work, etc. So, first thing you're going to want to do, and this is kind of easier for Ubuntu-based systems, which Linux Mint is, but I'll walk you through a few things you need to install. So first, um, on a lot of Ubuntu systems, it should already come with this iBus, but if it doesn't, you want to install iBus here, and then finally, um, there should be an IPA that you can install. That's TIPA, that's for LaTeX, if you type in LaTeX. You can do that one, but I personally did the KMFL keyboard IPA and this one will um, do it with uh, the iBus extension. In the past this is actually from uh, this is actually from SIL you can see the link here and I don't think you needed to install the SIL software source for this. Maybe I did. I did. Okay. So, I'll tell you how to get this then. Go to your web browser. And just type in SILPPA Ubuntu. Or actually just SILPPA. So you might have to play around for a minute. I used to be able to find things quite easily, and now I can't. Here we go. So it's at packages.sil.org. So SIL repository. Alright, so you basically just take this line here. And um, I'd replace this with the latest version of Ubuntu. So this one is trusty, because that's the latest. And that SIL is actually very good at updating their repository, and that gives you access to a lot of other linguistic tools from SIL, which is great. So then you go ahead and you take that and then you find the um, IPA and then KMFL. Uh, IBUS KMFL. Yeah, you will need that. But actually, that should install when you install this KMFL keyboard IPA. It should install that. And if you're an i386, it'll probably install that. I'm, in, I'm a 64-bit, so. So yeah, it should install everything you need going to have to restart just go ahead and restart they say log out and log back in but it's good to do a full restart because it logs you out and then it restarts X so afterwards you know you should see Linux Mint by default has this up here but in case you don't get that you're gonna want to go into input method here and then it should say 
automatic configuration IBUS. But if it doesn't, then you click OK. Then you click Yes. And hit that. I don't need to because it's already activated. And then you'd want to go into Preferences for your IBUS there. Go to Input Method. Make sure that this customized thing is checked. And then you should be able to go. You might have to go to Show All. You might have to. But in this case, it should show up under Other. And for some reason, right underneath Croatian is IPA. So you add that there. And now, this is kind of a glitch with mine. I don't know why. But the common um, keyboard shortcut to switch the um, the iBus layout is control and spacebar. And you get this whole big thing, and I don't know why, but there's tons of English US layouts. You know, I've got my Spanish and German, which I don't use. I use the system keyboard for that. But for this one, you know, you just you can hit the spacebar repeatedly, or you can use the arrow keys after you hit control and space, just hold the control, and then you know, release control when you're done. And Last but not least, you're going to need to download from uh, SIL's site their manual for this. SIL IPA IBUS. Then you basically just come down here to this manual. And so then you just do what I do, start playing around with everything, and then pretty soon the commonly used um, ones will kind of stick in your head. Um, I just remember a few tricks, like if I wanted to, say, do an aspiration or um, anything, so I would type the K for the K sound, and the H, then you hit the um, carrot key, which is, for me, on the American layout, shift and six and that takes it up but if i wanted to and of course you can't do that in my opinion, there's no um, capitals but uh, say i also wanted um so i got b and then i wanted to suspend that for the for the um pal palatal raising you know i would hit j and then i would hit that so that's one thing that I learned. Uh, you can also do tones, which is basically you hit the pound or the, um, um, everybody's calling it a hashtag now, but that's commonly known as a pound or a um, sharp. Hit the pound or the sharp, and then from one to four, you can choose how the tone is. Three is the um, high tone is the really high tone, two is the mid tone, one is the low tone, and um, if you're in the right font, which usually for me works well as Charis SIL, which you can also install from the repository, you can do um, falling rising tones. I found out the hard way if you're not in that Char SIL font, it does not work. It displays as two separate ones, kind of like that. So yeah, um, that's kind of all I have for now. And like I said, this is mainly just to test for my screen capture, so I didn't really want to do anything too fancy. But uh, let me know what you think and see if you um, discovered anything on your own. Good luck.